Now that we have our body text, let's refine our body paragraphs so they work a little bit better. Now, um, one of the things we need to do is remove all the space in between our paragraphs here. So we can go ahead and remove each visually. We can also go over to the Edit menu and go to Story Editor, and it allows us to see the space actually in here as well. So we could remove it there, we could remove it there. We can go through basically our entire document, all the linked text, and remove all of those settings. Now do be aware right here you'll notice um, it's actually different text and if you notice it actually has body text right next to it. We're going to revisit this in just a minute because I'd really like to be able to come back to that and change that setting for that particular setting um, so it's the same as a direct line to success which are individual lines basically used as subheadings but we'll do that here in a second. So go ahead and close that and let's come back to our paragraph and I'm going to select all of that text and um, start modifying this body text style. Now what we're going to do um, is do a couple things. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is just give it a 15 point letting that just spaces it out a little bit better. Now I'm going to go to the paragraph settings and um, I'm going to adjust something about it. I'm going to adjust the first line indent. That way we can indent the first line of that text. The next thing I'm going to do is over on the right hand side I'm going to adjust this so it's set to three columns. Now notice what happens is that it's applying this to the entire text frame because even though this is in the paragraph settings this is actually a frame setting not an actual text setting. But now you'll see that that paragraph exists all the way down to there um, and what we want to do is click in that paragraph and you'll notice the body text now has the plus which means we can redefine this by right clicking and choosing redefine style. Now you'll see that it applies that body text to everything else throughout our document that uses that style. Now right in the middle you'll see that we have the direct line to success and that's what we're going to change to a different font. Now if I go back to my type settings here at the top I'm going to choose like a bold a version of this, but you'll notice that it's actually changing it so that it, it adds um, a plus here. And what that's doing is it's basing this title on, or this subhead that we're about to do, it's basing it on the fact that we already had body text selected. So it means that this style would be um, based upon the original body text. So an example of this is if I go ahead and create a new style for this. So I can just place the eye bar anywhere. I'm going to create a new style and this is going to be my subheading. Now if you double click on subheading you'll see that it says it's based upon body text. And you have to be aware of that because it means that if you were to change something about body text such as let's change the font for body text to myriad. Let's see I'm on myriad so I want minion. I'm going to change that to minion and redefine the style. You'll notice that everything else changed and it also changed the subheading. So the subheading was linked to body text and we have to be really aware of that. So I'm going to come back and select this text, come back to the Myriad Pro and redefine that style. Now I'm going to come back to the direct line to success and I just thought about the fact that it has first line indent so I want to clear the first line indent and what I'd also like to do is add space before it so it automatically has space between the last document and maybe just a tiny bit of space after. Now I think actually no space after. If we have 0.1875 it looks like it's keeping the lines just about even with each other which is really good. Now I can right click and redefine that style for the subheading. Now that we've got that subheading style, we can go back to our story editor. And you'll notice if I go down, 
you'll see body text, body text, body text, and then it says subheading for a direct line to success. And if I go down, I'm looking for the next one, which is really short. There it is, an apple of our eye. And I can actually click on the subheading there and change it with the story editor without actually having to go to the document and seeing it, which is kind of cool. Now we can also go through the rest of our document and get rid of the spaces that we know don't need to be there. And there's another subheading. So I'll do my subheading right there. Take out my other spaces. So um, the story editor is a really nice way of being able to focus on um, how you're using styles without having to go back and actually um, deal with those individual styles themselves. So that, let's see, is there anything else that we need to do with this particular stuff? Um, we could go ahead and give styles for the about the author, but we might as well just use what we've got. So I'll use my subheading for those, and I'll use my body text for the other, get rid of the extra space. This particular one I think should be um, distinct, that is the copyright. So I'm going to make that small and I'm going to make it a bold italic possibly. Medium italic. And let's go ahead and give that a style name. And that'll be called copyright. Now it's going to be based upon that style too. Now I should possibly give it a little bit of space before it, it appears. So I'm going to go ahead and space it out before that copyright so it doesn't appear right in line with everything else. So let's apply that. Oh, let's redefine that style. And there we go. So we've pretty much changed all of the text for the rest of our document so it is consistently used. At this point, what we're going to do is go back to our main page and start inserting some graphics and making the design a little bit more interesting. So go ahead and save your work at this point and go on to the next tutorial.